Hello everyone, welcome back to Mad About Cards and Crafts. My name is Marla. Today I have several cards to share from a swap for Paper Tray Ink. These are my cards that I made. I actually um, chose to do two individuals. One was an international and one was in the USA and so these are the cards that I made and by the time that I share this video um, they should have received theirs. This first card right here, there you go, is um, using again several products from Paper Tray Ink. This right here is called Beautiful Berries Winter and the bow that's on this came from put a bow on it with from Lawn Fawn. The cutout oval right here is called Many Blessings from Paper Tray Ink. And then I embossed the bottom section right here with this buffalo plaid folder from Sunny Studios. So that right there is my very first card. I did use some glitter paper. This is some Bitty Biggs paper from Paper Tray Ink, and I believe that this is also um, a Paper Tray Ink pad or um, paper. And I want to say it's berries, something berries. But um, anyway, that is my first card, the Rejoice in the Season. Oh boy, I don't remember where that one came from. I'm sorry about that. So the next card is this Wishing You Joy. I used Paper Tray Ink Craft Card Stock. The red is actually a Gina K Designs. The, um, this little piece right here comes from the Forest Floor Winter along with that pine cone. So it's this piece and the pine cone and I just cut it out and the background right here, the snowflake came from this um, bold border flurries from Paper Tray Ink as well as that word joy. And what I did is I just stacked it several times, the word so that it gave it some dimension added the wishing you. I also, I'll show it up close, both of, I have two cards that are similar. This one right here, both of them I also used the Tim Holtz embossing folder, the wood grain embossing folder to get that wood grain look in the centerpiece. Um, this is a banner that I made and I don't know, I'll bring this up close. There you go. So um, it says, praise God for the gift of Jesus who was and is and is to come. I um, got that from this beautiful Thrill of Hope sentiment set from Paper Tray Ink. I partially die cut this border and stamped it using this Seasonal Borders Winter Set, again, Paper Tray Ink. These label dies right here come from the fancy label frames from Pink Fresh Studio. The paper again is Bitty Big, I believe it's Jadet. I heat embossed the sentiment, did the layered stamping, again partial die cutting, uh, some layering of those labels and used just some seam binding so they would have a little something to hang in their craft room. Um, this right here is the second card that was similar to the one that I just showed. It is using this Yuletide set from Paper Tray Ink. So this right here is the Yuletide. I actually took two rectangle frames. I believe it's Hero Arts Infinities, Infinity Dies to create this frame and this frame. Again, I did the um, wood grain look 
right here for the center. I used this die cut from Simon Says Stamp, which says Believe. The trees were created from this Enchanted Forest set. And then I used stickles to go over the word believe. I also did several layers of that word and used the shadow die to put behind it. And that is that card. These next two are very similar. So this one I actually stamped in Delicata, sorry for the noise, um, Celestial Copper. And this one is stamped using the Delicata Golden Glitz. This frame right here is Paper Tray Ink Pierced Rectangle. The uh, Joy to the World comes from this Penned Elegance set. So it's Penned Elegance Christmas Paper Tray Ink. The plaid background is this Stampers Anonymous Perfectly Plaid. I used this one right here. That's a Tim Holtz product. And the tree, the reindeer, those came from the Floral Fantasy Paper Tray Ink. This die right here is called Plaid. I just used the inside, so if you pull out this, you'll see that um, you can do many different layers and um, mix and match these pieces. I haven't cut this one apart, and I did have the um, I did have the wood pieces, the birch tree pieces, but I cut those away manually after I die cut it. So I actually have them to use on another project. And so those, I popped the panel on this one up with uh, some foam, and then I popped up the reindeer as well. And this one, I only popped up the tree. I used some fun foam. To pop that one up. Okay, this last card is using a tag set that Betsy Veldman released with Paper Tray Ink. It's called Poinsettia and Pine, and it's actually a really cool set because you can cut out the different pieces and layer them up. So, um, I made the tags. I actually created the paper using this Tim Holtz Shifter Mint. And I believe I used Evergreen Bough, Pine Needles, and yeah, I think Evergreen Bough and Pine Needles for this one. This one is Aged Mahogany and I believe Festive Berries. And then these little pieces right here, those came from that Floral Fantasy set that I just used on the other card, so I used these little poinsettia pieces. And um, I popped up, I don't know if you're going to be able to see, but there is foam behind these two pieces of the tag. So the tag actually comes, you cut out the front and then you cut out the back and you have two pieces and so I uh, put foam behind that to get those layers. The Merry Christmas comes from the same set and then this background paper right here, um, I'm very sad about this because I'm almost, I've almost used the whole thing up and it's my favorite pad ever. It was Sugar Plum from My Mind's Eye and it came out a few years ago and I just absolutely adore the colors in that paper pad. So those are the cards that I created for the swap and the banner. Um, for that banner that I created, I used, I believe this is a Lawn Fawn die. I can't find the packaging. My desk, if you saw my desk, it would be so embarrassing. It's such a mess. I have Christmas everywhere. So um, 
I did use this on that banner. And that is my card share. If you haven't already subscribed, please hit subscribe. You can find me on Instagram and um, it's Mad About Cards and Crafts on Instagram. If you have any questions or comments, please leave them below in the, um, please leave, leave a comment below and I will answer any questions that you might have. Again, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, have a great day.